All right. Uh, hello and welcome. Um, I wanted to introduce you to a new um, podcast, a new uh, media channel that I'm developing. Um, and this is the first episode, sort of just an introduction episode of what's going on, uh, what the episode, what, sorry, what the uh, production is going to be about uh, and that sort of thing. I've been doing a lot of um, uh, producing and uh, I have a podcast, uh, Breaking.Digital. I do a lot of uh, uh, broadcasting as well with um, a lot of digital transformation topics uh, with wiki brands and uh, a few other podcasts and videos and that sort of thing. So I'm just trying to focus everything um, and uh, sort of put together a, a new show that really kind of helps align all the things that are really important uh, in the digital space and the uh, uh, digital marketing and digital strategy and that sort of thing. So really excited to be able to do this and, and to bring it to uh, this format, um, working with Headspace TV as well. Um, to um, bring this out to, to entrepreneurs around the world and, and uh, around the globe as well, which is really quite fascinating. And really comes down to what I have what I believe, you know, foundations, digital strategy, and every great business has an even greater foundation. And we really need to sort of look at what foundation are we building, right? How What are the pieces that we're putting together and how are we actually putting these pieces? And, and digital can obviously be a little bit uh, confusing, a little bit overwhelming. Um, and so we really need, need to sort of take an active part in how we actually do things. Uh, so welcome to Digital Strategy Foundation Shows. Uh, my name is Doyle Bueller and I'm the author of uh, Breakthrough, Unleash Your Remarkable Brand, Value, Influence and Authority. And uh, I've been in the digital space for about 17 years through startups, uh, growing companies, agencies and everything in between. So I've been able to see what works right and what doesn't some of my own failures uh, as well as well as how businesses can actually leverage their digital ecosystem with their assets and their strategies which is absolutely key anybody can do tactics right strategy takes more thinking more planning more understanding more knowledge it's not just flying by the seat of your pants hoping that business will get better right it won't unless you understand and implement the strategies from the strong foundation and that's really what the show is about it's about how to develop your what i call your digital genius your strategies to better be able to navigate let, let's be honest a confusing and sometimes overwhelming world of digital websites social media transformation social selling um you know you name it uh, seo content management content is king all that kind of stuff if it's online I'll be talking about it, okay? This will help you build a strong foundation. And like I said, if you're not build if you don't have a foundation, you're not building something that will last. And this is again why why I love this sort of point that I've created. It's every great business has an even greater foundation, and that's true in so many ways. I mean, yes, other aspects are important of the business operations and HR and you know your team and that sort of thing, but you know what, if you don't have a strong foundation in the digital space, this, this is kind of your marketing arm. This is where this is where you're actually connecting with your audience, connecting with your customer. So it's really, really important that you have um, all those pieces in place so that they're actually working quite well and working together, working in unison also. So, so it's really um, good that we have that. So this just a quick overview in terms of the show format. I'm going to be talking with uh, experts in the field. I'm going to be talking with businesses um, who are making things happen that are getting to their breakthrough. Uh, some of them are going to be live. Some of them will be recorded. I'm also going to be having what I call a digital blockbuster Q&A where we can basically talk about specific topics uh, and answer your specific questions about what's going on or how you know, how to fit this piece together and that sort of thing. So that's really important. I'm going to be talking about the state of digital, what's going on, what's really important, the trends that are happening, you know, what you need to look out for, um, as well as how to build your, you know, your breakthrough as well. And as I said before, as well, I'll be having some special guests. Um, in my uh, podcast, Breaking.Digital, I bring in experts from around the world, uh, digital marketing influencers and, and strategy people who are able to really put that uh, put those pieces together. So we'll be continuing that as well. So what will I be covering? Um, st strategy, what I call a strategic architecture is building a foundation. That's fundamentally what it is. It's how do you actually put these pieces in place to create a plan for your company and then obviously continue with that plan going forward. Can be talking about why the funnel is dead, right? And what you need to be doing differently, how you need to be creating the journey uh, for your audience. 
uh, as well, because it, it can be a long and complicated journey. And it's really important that you're able to understand those steps and get people to get your audience rather to, to be able to, you know, create that journey for them. We kind of get lost a lot of times in terms of thinking that, well, we're the hero, right? But we're not. And uh, it comes down fundamentally to your customer. They're the hero and you're the guide, right? Be the uh, Yoda, as I say. Um, you're not Luke Skywalker. Uh, you're Yoda. You really have to guide your customer along that path um, to uh, to overcome their challenges. Um, and, and this is the journey. And another aspect of this is what I call the one degree. And this really is defining, I won't have time to get into that story right now, but this really is defining how you can actually stay on track. We often talk or hear about, you know, the 1% or 8% or whatever, which is a good measurement, but it's actually a relative measurement. Um, when you're talking about accuracy, you're talking about a degree from, from the ideal, right? And so if you take a circle 360 degrees, you divide that up into 360 degrees, you get one degree. And if you actually have one degree, you know exactly what that entails. You have a direction, you have a, a vector that's pointing in the direction. So it's a lot different than saying, oh, I want to be in the top 1%. What you're saying when you want to be in the top one degree is actually that how can I achieve that um, alignment across everything to get to my destination? And it's quite simple. There's a, a rule of thumb and flying that goes that uh, for every uh, kilometer that you travel, for every 10 kilometers you travel forward, if you're one degree off, you'll be one kilometer off track, right? So if you're flying across the country, guess what? You're not actually going to arrive at the destination. So there are some key strategies that are need to be enabled to make sure that you're able to stay on track as well with that one degree. Um, I also been talking about what I call the digital keystone. So the keystone is that stone that, uh, you know, humans have developed over thousands of years to be able to actually pull together structures and create an architect, uh, rather an architecture of, of buildings and, and bridges and canals and waterworks and that sort of thing. So the keystone, the digital keystone is really key because this is what gives you that one piece that says, hey, this is how we put it all together. So it's going to be sort of a, an exchange of how do we actually put these pieces together? What does this keystone mean and how does it actually work in, in, in a business line as well? I'm also gonna be talking about the line of automation, uh, the line of future trends and tools. Um, there's, there's a point and we're starting to see it where this is going to be about, you know, where AI and technology and automation are gonna be able to rise above a certain level and do certain things for you. But if you're just sort of sitting at that level, you have this gap and there's going to be this innovation gap, this automation gap. Um, and we need to be able to identify that specifically so we can actually correct for it uh, as well. Looking at uh, digital trends affecting businesses, you know, what's coming up, what's Facebook doing that might affect your strategy and your tactics as well. Um, you know, what potential channels are coming up, that sort of thing. So really kind of looking at and seeing at, at what's, what's affecting us is social selling really sort of as important as people think it is, or what do we need to actually prepare for the next round of, uh, marketing technology, MarTech and that sort of thing. Uh, my favorite, um, uh, words as well, buzzword bingo. So I'm going to be talking about those, um, finding out what really bugs people in terms of, you know, I've heard this word so many times, I'm not sure I want to use it again. Uh, might even produce buzzword bingo. All right. And uh, as I mentioned, talking about digital st storytelling in the digital age as well, uh, digital selling, it is different. Conce conceptually, it's it's fairly the same, but there are some steps that need to be put in place. We've talked, we hear about social selling. Is that really selling? Yes, it is. But what other pieces do we actually need to be able to put that uh, in place? And there's a whole structure and framework that um, um, that can be used to be able to do that. And then talking about these digital frameworks, right? These are really important to help you build your keystone, to help you build your, your one, get you to your one degree to build your foundation. Because at the end of the day, that's what's really important. And that's really how things are going to get done with your business. And so I'm really looking forward to, to putting this together and getting some, um, uh, some great content out there and discussing some really cool ideas in the world of digital and digital transformation and social selling and that sort of thing. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I just want to leave you with a quick little story as well. Um, uh, if, if you're following me on LinkedIn and I would really enjoy it if you did, uh, just look, look me up on LinkedIn, Doyle Bueller. 
Um, but I, I typically write, you know, about some of these strategic issues that are affecting businesses and that sort of thing, and how to actually improve upon that. And and uh, one of my posts recently was about business failure, and just sort of talking about, well, why why are businesses failing? Like uh, the statistics, they change from country to country, right? In Australia, I think it's about. 45 percent in Canada it's 50 percent and and don't quote me on this I don't have the stats right in front of me um, but the point is is that it's a big it's it's big um, even if it is only 40 percent that fail within the first five years 40 percent is an awful lot right so how do we actually reduce that um, one of the common stats is I, I think it's around 45 percent fail within the first five years and then it comes down to about 70 percent I think don't make it to year 10. Um, so there's a lot of failure and look, there is a lot of reasons as well, but what I believe, you know, fundamentally is, is that the businesses that don't have a foundation that aren't looking for that core strategy that aren't, you know, developing that foundation, um, are the ones that are, you know, going to be having a harder go at it because they don't know exactly what to do. They don't know how to, um, uh, develop a solution. They don't know how to create that framework that actually helps them with the business. So digital is really, really important in this because it's a massive, <clears throat> pardon me, a massive element of what's really going on in the business. And, and that fundamentally is how we are able to, you know, grow and define a business is by building this foundation, right? Um, you, you need a foundation in order to, to transform. You need a trend, uh, a foundation rather in order to scale. Okay, so we talk about startups and scale ups and, you know, mature businesses, but what are they doing? They're building a foundation. And again, it can't be just a sort of a fly by night. It has to be a solid strategic architecture that allows you to build upon the pieces and allows you to pivot and allows you to sort of set that stage and understand what pieces of your digital ecosystem are important and what isn't. Right. What assets can should you be building? What assets should you be, you know, are or what within social or digital is actually a liability as opposed to an asset? So in order to grow, we need a, a foundation. In order to transform, we need a foundation. In order to scale, we also need a foundation. Look at the house you're in. Look at the office you're in. They all have a foundation, even the car, the roadway, that sort of thing. Every great science and engineering theory started with a foundation. Farming doesn't start with the first harvest. Flying doesn't start with landing at your destination. Businesses don't start with the sale of your products. Digital doesn't start with your website or your social media profile. Learning doesn't start with your degree. The meal doesn't start with a fork and knife. And the Hollywood blockbuster movie doesn't start with you sitting down to watch something, right? There's no six, seven, eight, or nine figures without a foundation. There's not even any one to five figures either. So start with the end of the mind. It may seem simple, but it's more than just talk. It's more than just buzzwords. And, you know, if I was to ask you, what would you do differently in your business if you could start over? Uh, you know, I'd, I'd love to see the results. and Maybe I'll do this in a, in a survey. But what if you had a stronger foundation to be able to build upon, right? What if you had a, a, a strategy that said that this is really important? This is how we're actually going to deliver our value to our audience. Would that help? You know, at the beginning, it seems pretty easy starting a business, just flying by the seat of our pants, trying this, doing that, pivoting left, pivoting right, starting here, shifting there, you name it, right? <clears throat> Yet these businesses reach a point, a tipping point, a digital tipping point that drops them in this gap and gives them the biggest ass kicking that they have ever seen before. So we don't want to see that. And I'm not saying it's going to be easy. I'm, I'm saying it's going to be worth it as well. So that's all I have. I wanted to uh, quickly give you a rundown. Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully it was informative. I'd love it if you could join me um, on this uh, journey as well. Um, learn more about digital, developing your digital genius as well uh, so that you can build these things and you can build the assets and you can build your ecosystem uh, for your audience um, and obviously for your business as well at the end of the day. So that's it. If you uh, enjoyed this, please like, share, comment. We'd love to hear from you. Um, and uh, looking forward to talking more and uh, discussing your digital issues. So, all right. My name is Doyle Bueller, and I will see you online.